Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. The toxin of the day is alcohol. For ease, we have named the scene as Nax Bar. Alcohol is an important topic of your toxicology as well as medical psychiatry. So on the right side of the scene, you can see Nax Bar. So let's talk about category of alcohol. So on the left side of the scene, you can see a picture of brain with the flower that is hanging on the wall. The same picture was used in the sketch of Datura. So there it was representing the class of cerebral poison. So basically alcohol also belongs to the category of cerebral poisons. So let's talk about the different types of alcoholic beverages. So you don't have to remember the percentages exactly, but you should have a rough idea. So the types of alcoholic beverages are represented by a shelf with bottles on it just beneath the next bar. So from right to left, you can see the bottle of different beverages. So from right to left, you can see bottle of rum, bottle of whiskey and brandy, then bottle of wine. And on the extreme left, you can see bottle of beer. Rum has approximately 50 to 60% of alcohol. Whiskey and brandy both have equal percentage of alcohol that is 40 to 45 percent. Wine has 10 to 15 percent of alcohol. Beer is the mildest of all and it contains 4 to 10 percent of alcohol. So just remember rum is the most concentrated form of alcohol and beer is the lightest one. At this point, usually we are discussing the fatal dose and fatal period. But in case of alcohol poisoning, there are seven stages which are very important. So we are going to remember a mnemonic that we are going to explain later. But you have to remember that mnemonic for ease. So in the middle of the scene, you can see a television or LED TV that says, see your cup size, don't die early. The letters in the yellow are representing the seven stages. I'll decode the mnemonic later. Let's talk about the mechanism of action. So for the mechanism of action, you have to remember three or four things. Number one is the Nax bar. It is representing the mechanism of action. Beside Nax bar, you can see a label that says 100% organically fermented. And on the left side, you can see a liver. And on the counter, Below the next bar, you can see some raspberries. So the label on the right side that says 100% organically fermented represents the formation of alcohol. So alcohol is made by enzymatically fermenting sugar, starches and fruit juices among the carbohydrates. And the liver on the left side is representing the metabolism of alcohol. So just remember that the main site of alcohol metabolism is liver in your body. So when alcohol is consumed orally, it passes through your GIT tract, enters the portal circulation, reaches the liver where it is metabolized, and then it passes the brain and the blood barrier and acts on the brain. So why we have named the scene as Nax bar. So basically ethanol or alcohol inhibits the sodium potassium ATPase pump by acting directly on the neuronal membrane. Due to the change electrolytes on both sides of the membrane, nerve transmission is reduced as a result. The raspberries on the counter are representing the reticular activating system that is also known as RAS or RAS. So just remember from raspberries that RAS is involved. So the area which is affected first is the reticular activating system. Later on, the brain areas are affected in decreasing order from the cortex to the medulla. So let's talk about the stages of acute poisoning. So there are basically seven stages as we have talked earlier. You have to remember the mnemonic C, your cup size, don't die early. So the letters of C... S double E. S stand for the first stage that is stage of sobriety. The double E stand for stage of euphoria and stage of excitement respectively. The next stage is the stage of confusion represented by the word cup and the word size represents the stage of stupor. The stage of comma is represented by comma of the word don't and die represents the stage of death. So let's talk about the first stage of alcohol poisoning. So you can see a sober man that is sitting in front of the counter wearing a white shirt. The white shirt has a letter 10 
एंड नंबर फिफ्टी इम्प्रिंटेड ऑन इट एंड द पर्सन इज होल्डिंग अ सिंगल ग्लास द सिंगल ग्लास इज रिप्रजेंटिंग द फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ एल्कोहल पॉइजनिंग एंड द लेटर टेन एंड द नंबर फिफ्टी आर रिप्रजेंटिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ एल्कोहल सो टेन टू फिफ्टी एम जी इंजेक्शन लीड्स टू फर्स्ट स्टेज ऑफ सोब्राइटी इन दिस स्टेज द बिहेवियर इज नॉर्मल एज यू कैन सी द पर्सन इज सिटिंग क्वाइट नॉर्मली एंड ही इज सोबर ऑन लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ आवर सोबर मैन a man is sitting in a greenish yellow shirt and he is very over excited and two glasses are present in front of him one glass is half filled and the second glass is full so the two glasses are representing the second stage and one glass is half filled that represent 50 and the other glass is full that represents 100 so this is the second stage of alcohol poisoning that is the stage of euphoria that is achieved by ingestion of 50 to 100 mg of alcohol as you can see the person is very talkative and he is feeling very good so the stage of euphoria is represented by feeling of well being talkativeness increased self confidence and lack of inhibitions so let's talk about the next stage just beneath our television you can see a table on which two women are sitting one is quite happy and the other one is crying and on the table you can see there are three glasses that are representing the third stage of alcohol poisoning that is the stage of excitement you can see one glass in front of the happy woman is full and the glasses in front of the sad woman one of them is half and the other one is full so the stage of excitement is reached after ingestion of 100 to 150 mg of alcohol so for the representation in front of the happy woman there is a full glass that is representing 100 mg and in front of the crying lady there are two glasses one is half filled and other one is full that represents the quantity of 150 mg so you can remember that 100 to 150 mg is the range that is leading to the stage of excitement so emotional instability the person tends to cry or laugh very easily that's why it is also called the philippine stage so in this stage there is increased reaction time face is flushed conjunctiva is congested pupils are dilated there may be jerking movements of the eyes that is known as alcohol gaze nystagmus so you can see the face of the crying lady is flushed the pupils are dilated let's talk about our fourth stage so just on the left side of the ladies you can see a driver that is wearing a brown hat with the letter 4 on the left side of the driver there is a bill that says 150 to 200 dollars as you can see the driver is mentally disoriented and he is a bit confused so the fourth stage is known as stage of confusion and it is achieved by ingestion of 150 to 200 mg of alcohol this stage is very much important medical legally because a maximum number of accidents occur during to the drunk driving state and the patient loses alertness and develops disorientation mental confusion vertigo visual disturbances muscular incoordination staggering gait slurred speech so far is we have represented the stage by a driver so let's talk about our fifth stage so just on the left side of the driver you can see a chef corner a chef is standing and on the corner it is written five mac and cheese oven baked at 300 dollars so the five is representing the fifth stage that is the stage of stupor and the 300 dollars is representing 300 mg of dose that leads to the stage of stupor so generally speaking as we have talked earlier stage of confusion is achieved when we ingest 150 to 200 so 200 
to 300 mg of ingestion leads to the stage of stupor. In this phase, there is decreased response to external stimuli along with the following generalized inertia, inability to stand or walk, vomiting, lack of consciousness, fine lateral nystigmus may be present, signs of shock like clammy skin, decreased reflexes and dilated pupils may be seen. So the most important thing that is of worth is that the stage of stupor is related to a sign that is known as McEwen sign. As our statement says, Mac and cheese oven baked. So just omit the cheese. So we will be left with Mac oven. So Mac oven sign is elicited when we ingest 300 milligram of alcohol. So what is McEwen sign? Pinching the skin of the face or neck dilates the constricted pupil of an alcoholic coma. So you can see the chef is making a pinch. So you can remember that the chef is trying to pinch the skin of his face and if he does so and the constricted pupil is dilated so we say that McEwen sign is positive. So let's talk about our last two stages that are represented by a boy that is wearing a red shirt and is lying on the ground with the bottle in his hand. The sixth stage is known as stage of coma. Stage of coma is achieved after ingestion of 500 mg of alcohol. In this phase, the patient is non-respondent to external stimuli associated with deep unconsciousness, abolished reflexes, hypothermia, labored breathing as well. As you can see, the boy is quite unconsciousness. The next stage is the stage of death. If more than 500 mg is ingested, so it leads to stage of death. As you can see, we have labeled the shirt with 500 so you can just remember that the stage of coma is from 300 to 500 milligram as the fifth stage was at 300 so just remember the range 300 to 500 leads to stage of coma and more than 500 leads to the stage of death so uh, we cannot show the stage of death in the scene so just remember that the stage of coma leads to the stage of death ultimately so let's talk about the complications of alcoholic poisoning. So the number one is the vitamin deficiency. So just behind the poster of next bar, you can see a location that says block B13. Block B13 that is representing that alcohol causes vitamin B1, that is thiamine and vitamin B3, niacin deficiency. So just remember that the alcoholic poisoning is related to vitamin B1 and B3 deficiency. The second complication is McEwen sign as we have talked earlier that pinching the skin of the face and neck dilates the constricted pupil of an alcoholic coma as representing by our chef who is trying to pinch the skin of the face. The next complication on the left side of our picture of brain with the flower so it is written don't drop saturday so it is representing the saturday night palsy so people who excessively drink on the weekends and later on sleep in abnormal postures lead to pressure on the radial nerve and hence develop features of radial nerve palsy like wrist drops and it is known as saturday night palsy so just behind our dead man on the right side you can see a person with the red shirt which says car off. The hat of the person is on the ground and that says DT. So DT represents the stage or state of delirium tremors. So as you can see, the person is agitated and is trembling. So delirium tremor is characterized by cerebral edema with symptoms of grogginess, agitation, trembling and dread that are associated with insanity. So it is basically a symptom of alcohol withdrawal. Chronic alcoholics with exposure to cold, stress, alcohol withdrawal and acute infection can exhibit it. Auditory and visual hallucination are also there in the later stages, but specifically visual hallucinations are related to delirium tremors. So shirt of the man says car off. That is representing an important syndrome that is known as Wernick-Karsakoff syndrome. 
car of korsakoff syndrome that sounds similar so verney korsakoff syndrome here you can write also i'll explain separately so verney korsakoff syndrome is an organic brain disorder resulting from damage to the mammillary bodies dorsal medial nuclei of the thalamus and adjacent areas of periventricular gray matter of the brain caused by a deficiency of vitamin b1 or thiamine so as you know vitamin b1 is an important cofactor in many of the reactions that are in our biochemistry and in our metabolism so deficiency of vitamin b1 leads to symptoms so first one is the wernicke's encephalopathy so wernicke's encephalopathy is Uh, characterized by nystagmus or ophthalmoplegia with ataxia and delirium so as we have talked about delirium tremors so delirium is also present in wernicke's encephalopathy korsakoff syndrome korsakoff syndrome is represented or characterized by severe short term memory deficit and confabulation so if we say collectively wernicke korsakoff syndrome is characterized by hallucination disorientation delirium loss of memory and multiple neuritis so we can talk about the treatment later but just remember that treatment involves the iv vitamin b1 administration so let's talk about the post mortem appearance of alcoholic poisoning so it is represented by the same person or boy that is lying on the ground that was representing the stage 6 and 7 of the acute poisoning so externally we can see that uh, clothes are crumpled and may have vomitus or blood stains on them as we have colored the shirt as red and as well as froth from mouth and nose can we see and you can see that froth is coming from the mouth of the boy tongue is found dried and rigor mortis lasts longer than normal as you can see there is a shirt just behind the boy so that is representing a mnemonic s h i t the mnemonic represents the alcohol withdrawal symptoms the s stand for shakes seizures sweats or stomach pain that is representing the nausea vomiting h stand for hallucinosis as i said auditory hallucination is common symptom of uh, alcohol withdrawal i stand for increase vitals and t stand for tremors that is the delirium tremors so you can just remember from the shirt that s h i t represents the alcohol withdrawal symptoms other symptoms are important as we have talked about the wernicke korsakoff syndrome earlier internally the odor of alcohol is usually encountered after opening the body and blood and fluid are dark brain edema can be present and the stomach may show signs of chronic gastritis but you don't need to remember much of them just remember the alcohol withdrawal symptoms so let's talk about the treatment of alcohol poisoning so you can see our classic gastric lavage bottle on the left side of the ladies that says sodium bicarb so stomach wash with 5% solution of sodium bicarbonate in warm water is indicated in treatment of alcohol poisoning the patient should be kept warm and isotonic saline with 5% glucose should also be administered as we have talked earlier vitamin b1 administration is indicated so you can see a bottle of b1 that is on the left side of boy that is lying on the ground so vitamin b1 thiamine iv administration is indicated also you can see our respirator that is present in most of our videos just beneath our uh, photograph of brain with the flower so oxygen inhalation with artificial respiration is required hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis may also be required in serious cases so as you can see the boy that is lying on the ground there is dye on his left arm so that is representing dye sulfur arm so you can r- remember from dye sulfur arm as the dye is on the arm so dye sulfur arm is very important in the treatment of alcohol poisoning there is a new drug that is known as fomipazole that is approved by the fda that is represented by a foam that is on the ground just beside the boy so that is representing the new class of drug that is indicated in ethylene glycol poisoning that is known as fomipazole there are some additional points that i want you to remember in case of alcohol withdrawal treatment if alcohol withdrawal treatment 
uh, is asked in your exam then how are you going to write the answer so alcohol withdrawal syndromes can be prevented or treated once established with long acting benzodiazepine benzodiazepines are basically depressants and are used in anxiety so benzodiazepines like diazepam are usually indicated in alcohol withdrawal syndromes so prevention of the verney korsakoff syndrome requires the immediate use of thiamine as we have talked earlier iv administration of thiamine is indicated so i have repeated this time by time also a drug known as acamprosate is used and disulfiram is also used to treat the symptoms of alcohol withdrawal antidepressants may be required and antipsychotics in case of the alcoholic hallucinations so it was all about alcohol withdrawal syndromes so this was a bit additional information i know it was the lengthiest video of all but the information is very important for your medical psychiatry as well as your toxicology so i hope you would have loved the video if you have any questions you can drop in the comment section till then take care for detailed literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan